Good morning, everyone. Um, I will be sharing a video from our partners while we wait on everyone else to join. All right, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us. This is the Commuting to Miami Dade, the webinar. Uh, my name is Jonathan Knight. I'm with South Florida Commuter Services. And today I have three transportation experts who will be assisting us in learning some of the transportation options that are available to people who work in Miami Dade County. So today, um, I will be starting off with Vanpool. Um, we have Natasha Villalba Cruz. She is our commute executive with South Florida Vanpool, and she handles all of the Vanpools throughout South Florida. Um, without further ado, good morning, Natasha. Good morning. Transportation expert. I don't know about that, but I'll take it, Jonathan. Thank you so much again for having me. South Florida Commuters Service, I appreciate this webinar. Um, today, we're going to dive into van pooling a little bit further, and I'll kind of give an outline of what we're going to be talking about, but super excited to have all of you, and I appreciate your time. Again, thank you so much for having me. So let's get right into it. Um, you know, back it up a little bit. I'm Natasha Vialba Cruz from Commute with Enterprise, and we are a division of Enterprise Rental Car. Just to kind of throw out there, we will have an opportunity for questions later. I'll also give my personal uh, contact information, so please feel free to reach out to me. So let's kind of talk about an overview of what I'll be sharing today. Um, essentially, what we're going to be talking about is a couple different things, right? But van pooling is the key to what I'll be presenting today. So we'll talk a little bit about mobility options and, and what is your commute like and what options do you have out there? So we'll dive into that. Um, then we're going to talk about van pooling and what it is, how it works specifically. Um, most importantly, what's included in the van pool program, uh, as well as the subsidy program and what type of cost can be affiliated with that. Um, we will dive into a little bit about our COVID-19 response. I think that's very relevant, especially uh, still currently in the state that we are currently in. Um, most importantly, how do you join? How do you get more information? We'll dive into that a little bit. Um, so, so we'll hop on over and we'll get right into it. So what I like to think about, and I want this takeaway to be um, really thought about throughout this presentation, is what is your commute like? Um, what is your option? Most people get in their car and they drive their vehicle, right? So there's a couple different options. When we think of public transportation, right, you think of our rail system. So most, you know, we think of our tri-rail system, we think of our uh, metro rail system. So we have those north-south corridors, we have the east-west corridors. Um, and then in addition to that, we have our bus routes, which most people are familiar with. And those kind of dive in between and go into our streets um, and get us maybe to those other lines as well. So where does Vanpool come into play with that? Um, Vanpool actually fills the gaps within those corridors. So what I like to think of Vanpool, um, you know, think of uh, someone 
that may possibly have a schedule that starts at five in the morning and it's a little difficult to get on um, those transit lines or, or it's limited options, let's say. Um, van pooling can actually help with that. Or maybe there's a location that doesn't have a bus route or doesn't have a rail system. Um, van pool can be an option. So what we wanna try to get across is what are your mobility options out there? And, and I'll talk a little bit about van pooling. My specialty is van pooling. So, so we'll kind of dive into that, but there are options. So I really want everybody to think about your commute and, and what are your different options that are out there. So van pool, um, we'll, we'll go to the next slide, Jonathan. So what is van pool? Um, you know, I like to think of van pooling as carpool on steroids. Uh, most people have heard of the terminology as far as a can't carpool. Um, you know, you have people join the ride together and you kind of share that commute. Well, van pooling functions like a carpool, but we are enterprise and we actually give you the vehicle to do that commute in. So what we do is we group the four to 15 people that live in the same uh, like radius within three mile distance and they share the same commute corridor. So they'll meet at a central location, uh, possibly a park and ride. Veronica will talk about that a little bit later. Possibly a parking lot, Walmart, Publix, of course, with permission. Um, there are different options. Some people will park at home, but they're going to meet at a central location. And now you're going to utilize the van pool to commute back and forth from work your amount of days that you're going into the office. Now, the biggest difference is that the participants share the driving responsibility, right? So there's multiple people be that can drive that vehicle. So what that does, and I really want y'all to think about this a little bit. When you're behind the wheel, right? You're, you know, your eyes are on the road. You have to be 100% committed to driving and obviously um, keeping yourself safe and others around you. When you're in a van pool, one person drives, you can kick back, maybe listen to music, uh, maybe work, listen to podcasts, my new favorite thing. Um, so there are different options that you can do when you're sharing your ride and maybe you are not the one driving. So that's a really big co key component to van pooling is that you're going to get some time back in your day to do whatever you want um, when you're actually not right behind that wheel and you guys can rotate that responsibility. So that's the biggest impact and I wanted to really emphasize that you do share that responsibility as opposed to a carpool where it's some specific vehicle and that's their car most likely they're going to drive their own car right and you're just going to be a passenger within that um, so there are a couple different options there but that's specifically the biggest difference with van pulling so next slide we're going to talk about well why do people like van pulling? Um, I, I think this is really important. I wanna really make sure that everybody gets a takeaway. We are providing the vehicle. So yes, I had mentioned we are enterprise rental car. Um, so we are providing a late model, fully equipped vehicle. You can think of a Chevy Traverse, a, a Nissan Pathfinder, possibly the transit vans, just depends on your group size. So we have all different options of availability on the type of vehicle, but you can rest assured it's gonna be a late model, fully equipped vehicle month-to-month -month convenience. This is the biggest impact, right? The, you're not signing a commitment to a two, three-year lease. This is, think of it as a rental, that like you're renting month-to-month. -month. You can actually turn that vehicle in if this is maybe your schedule changes, or maybe this just isn't right for you. You can turn that vehicle at any time, no penalties. Um, we do provide comprehensive insurance that includes bumper-to-bumper -bumper coverage, as well as a million dollars in liability. So you're not utilizing your own insurance. This is our protection that is included in the cost of of the van pool. Now the full maintenance program, very important. Yes, we are giving you a late model vehicle. More than likely, you're not gonna have any issue, but let's be honest, right? Things happen. Um, so you can rest assured that all of the, the oil changes, any of the tire situations or rotations or switching out a tire, that's 100% covered through our national accounts. So you would go to you know, Firestone, Tire Kingdom, they're gonna take care of it 100%. Um, if, for instance, it's something mechanical, we will swap that vehicle out. Again, because we have the availability of vehicles, we can just get you another ride, get that vehicle to the dealer. Not going to stop your commute. You're going to continue on. Um, we do provide 24-7 roadside assistance. It's very important. Schedules vary. Like I said, things happen. So you have a, a number to call for any kind of issue on the road. Most importantly, savings. This is my favorite part. Um, and this is what I hear the most from employees. Wow, I'm saving a ton of money. Um, let's be honest, the gas prices are starting to pike up, right? Um, you will feel that directly in your pocket if you're commuting five days a week. So when we think about how much we spend on our commute, let's think a little bit outside of that. You got your tolls, you got your gas, you have your depreciation of your vehicle. You're gonna have to get your tires rotated, cha oil change, all that comes into play. Your depreciation on your car itself 
more mileage, the lower the depreciation, the depreciation is going to go down. Um, so at the end, when you took, consider all those options, um, you have a significant amount of savings by sharing that expense with your peers, with your coworkers that are sharing that same commute corridor day in and day out. So that's the most important. Um, in addition to think a little outside of the box here, um, we've had certain people that will get rid of their second car. Well, they have a ride in and out to work. Maybe they'll use their spouse's vehicle on the weekends. They won't need it. Or, you know, what a lot of people will do is just call up their insurance company. Say, hey, I'm not commuting anymore. So, you know, I don't have that big risk on those highways. They're going to lower your insurance by 10 to 15 percent. So savings are the number one reason people join a van pool, especially, uh, you know, for most of the accounts that we deal with. They have that same route in and out. Savings is definitely the number one reason. So why do businesses? Well, next slide, we'll talk a little bit about the employers. Now, you know, I hope we have some leadership on the call today on the webinar. Um, if not, maybe you can get your employer involved and, and have them jump on this. Um, the reason that, you know, your businesses, your, your companies uh, like van pooling, the commuter option, is the fact that it can help with recruiting and retention. You, over 20 percent, 23 percent actually leave their job because of their commute. It's too stressful. It's too long. I can find another job closer to home, right? So we want to keep our top talent. So this can be an employee benefit that you can offer. Uh, parking and facilities. Guys, let's be honest. If you park downtown, if you you know work downtown, either A, you're paying a parking garage, you're paying to park on the side of the road. You know, we pretty much have to pay wherever we go here in Miami-Dade County. Um, so the fact of the matter, you know, empo employers and companies are growing. They have to consider parking. They have to consider parking for their employees, their customers. All that comes into play. It costs a ton of money, on average 19000 per year uh, for parking spaces. We don't consider that. So employers can greatly benefit by reducing the amount of spaces that you need in your work site. You know, employee benefits. Um, I like to think of employee benefits. The first thing is vacation, right? Vacation, you think of uh, bonuses, uh, time off. Well, commuter benefit is an employee benefit. This is your day in and day out, how much you're spending to get to that job. So you can offer it as a commuter benefit. And what better way to stand out among the competition to say, hey, we can give you a job, but we can also get you to our job. Um, so it's a great benefit package that you can kind of include uh, for your employees. You know, very near and dear to my heart is our green initiative and sustainability. Um, I think, you know, you'd be living under a rock if you haven't heard about reducing CO2 emissions. We are all talking about, we're all trying to save our planet, you know, for our, our children. I have a two-year-old son. I want to make sure the planet is great, you know, coming down the line 20 years from now. Um, and, and traffic and vehicles on the roadway could contribute to over 40% of our CO2 emissions. So fun fact, Commute with Enterprise actually provides um, six, almost 700 million CO2 emissions uh, per year. We've actually had that impact, reducing carbon emissions by almost 695 million. It's a 411,000 acres of forest safe. So if you think of it that way, it's a huge impact when you're actually, you know, each individual rider, if you're driving your own vehicle, it's about 1,500 pounds of CO2 emissions per month. So it adds up. So this is definitely a great way to introduce a green initiative to your employer and really you as a personal rider to contribute back by helping the planet, saving the environment. Next slide. Um, so costs, most people are like, okay, this is great. Sounds awesome. Well, how much is it, right? Um, you know, Miami-Dade Transit is trying to help reduce traffic off of our roadways. We are trying to help reduce CO2 emissions. So they have implemented a subsidy that pays up to $500 per van pool. That reduces down the cost. So when you spread that cost over to the riders, it reduces the cost greatly. So $500 per month they are providing in order for each van pool. In addition, um, the employees each qualified for the Guaranteed Ride Home program. You know, uh, Erica is actually going to talk a little bit about the Guaranteed Ride Home, so I don't want to steal her thunder, but she'll go into that a little bit later. Um, but every Vanpool rider uh, in the Vanpool program will actually qualify for this. Um, in addition, most of the companies that we work for provide pre preferred, preferred parking. 
So what that is, is so for example, um, the VA, the Miami VA, they have specific spots for their van pool. So they've implemented this program. There's no going around trying to look for a parking spot when they arrive, they have their specific spot. So most of the companies that we work for do provide a spot for the employee to park at. Um, in addition, either they reduce the parking fee to zero, or again, you're sharing that parking cost among the riders that are in the vehicle. So that $100 a month can kind of get split between six to 10 people, depending on your van pool uh, size of the van pool. Next slide. So COVID-19 definitely didn't want to go without uh, speaking about this and what are we doing about it? You know, it is really our responsibility to ensure the safety of our peers around us. Um, there is a federal mandate. I wanted to, to make sure that I mentioned that, um, that says that on public transportation, you are required to wear a mask that is still in place at this time. Because we are ride sharing, because you are joining the ride, um, that does apply to our van pools. So what we do provide is a complete clean starter kit. So what that includes, face masks, gloves, um, disinfectant pod, spray bottle, paper towels, all the tools that you need basically to keep your vehicle clean. It is the responsibility of the group and the team that's together to make sure that their vehicle is clean and safe. In addition, some of the employers that we work with have implemented the same protocols that they have maybe going into the work site temperature checks, right? Um, Self-certifying. These are all different um, entities that, that the employers are requiring for the van pools to continue to exist. We are providing guidelines. We want to make sure that you're keeping your, your team safe. We like to think of the van pool as a, you know, a small social pod, right? You have a group of peers that are, that are joining the van pool together, riding in and out. You know, you want to keep each other safe, right? It, it, you almost become family with your peers that are at work. So uh, these individuals, you're going to ensure the safety of those around you, of course, when you're going into the workplace as well. So some of those guidelines will take place right before, you know, getting on that van. Next slide. So here we are. Um, how do we start? How do we join? Um, I don't want anybody to be intimidated about providing information. This is an initial step to say, hey, what is your current acute and how can we help? What is the option for you? Very, very simple. If you go to commutewithenterprise.com, click on join commute, Three different options. So I want to talk a little bit about these three different options. This is really important because I'm sure we have a, an array of audience that's out there. But if you're looking just for an individual, you know, say you're working from home and maybe you're going back to a staggered schedule or maybe you're going back full time or you're already there and you've been working full time. And if you're just looking for another option and, and Bampool sounds like a great option, click on just me. We're going to give you a couple of routes that are already in existence and then we'll link you up with a, a Bampool that's already existing. Now, if you have a team, you know, uh, of, of peers that you know live near each other, um, we can click on me and my my friends, and that'll actually I'll be in contact with you to find out what your commute is, what your corridor is, and I can provide you that estimate based on all of that information. Now, if you are an employer that's looking back up one more just on the employer if we are an employer that is looking for to implement a commuter benefit um, very important click on employer give a little information about your company i will be in contact with you there are many customizable solutions um, to implement a program like this so we will go over that you and i together i encourage you to click on that so next slide just kind of dives in a little bit more about the individual um, our system basically will allow you to, if you put your your information in there, we're gonna show you the options that are currently out there, what routes are already existing that you could just jump on and join that van pool and pay your portion. Um, so it'll give you a couple of routes there. So I just wanted to make sure I emphasize that, but again, either option is there. Um, Last slide, we're just going to, I wanted to provide you my information. I think the most important um, aspect of the Van Pool program is the fact that it is customizable. Please reach out. My cell phone, my email address is there. I'd love to schedule some time with you and, and talk about your commute, talk about your company, and see if this is something that we can implement um, at, at, for you as an individual or maybe to your company itself. And I really, truly appreciate your time. And thank you, South Florida Community Services, for having me. Back to Jonathan. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for that presentation, Natasha. Of course. That was a lot of information. I hope everyone was able to grasp it. But as she said, her information is available on the slide. Um, during the presentation, we got a very important question from a participant. They wanted to know, where do you park the van pool at night? 
Yeah, great question. Um, you know, that could vary. It depends on your commute. You know, uh, we're going to talk a little bit later in the presentation. Veronica will give information on the park and rides. Very safe lots, um, but that's not the only option. There are different options, and we could walk you through some of those different options depending on where your van pool is starting from. Um, but what I do suggest, you know, park and rides is one of them, but there are a couple different options. But your group can kind of decide together. It may be at somebody's house or it may be at a specific, uh, you know, park and ride location or central location. So that's something that we can kind of help guide you with as well. Okay, awesome. Thank you for that information. So now we will be moving into the second portion of our webinar. Um, I will be introducing South Florida Commuter Services, which is a program of the FDUT, also known as FDOT. But before we start with that, I wanted to share a brief video from our partners. and didn't all right we were having a bit of technical difficulties so i'm just going to move forward without further ado i will introduce our partners at south florida commuter services south florida commuter services is a program of fdot as i said before um SFCS provides financial and technical assistance, which assist in promoting the alternatives to driving alone. And this is all in an effort to reduce regional vehicle miles traveled. So as of March 2021, South Florida Community Services had 12,000 people throughout South Florida registered as alternative drivers, meaning that they either carpool, vanpool, take transit, or walk and bike. Now, in March, we also had about 800, which were registered with us in the three plus toll exemption, which our next presenter, Erica Major, will be speaking a little bit more on. Thank you so much, Jonathan, and good morning, everyone. Um, thank you so much, uh, Natasha, as well, for that great information. Uh, regarding the VAMP pool program and all the great benefits associated with it. Um, at this time, I would like to share with you all a couple of other programs that we have in place. So um, first, I would like to talk about our Express uh, Lanes Toll Exemption Program. Uh, this program is specifically for those using the I-95 Express Lanes as part of your daily commute to or from work or even school. And when I talk about school, I'm referring more to universities and colleges. So um, as a reminder, customers on the 95 express lanes pay a dynamically priced toll. As traffic in the express lanes increases, the toll price goes up to manage demand, uh, which usually happens during rush hours. So imagine having to pay anywhere between five to $15 daily just to make it to work on time. And this is why we offer the I-95 express lanes toll extension program to help reduce traffic. Um, and you may ask yourself, how can we do that? So commuters who are willing to carpool to work or school or go to school with at least three people in the vehicle at least three days a week will be exempt from paying tolls on the I-95 express lanes. Just to remind you, this is a, a free enrollment and uh, all participants will be eligible for the Guaranteed Right Home Program, which I'll talk a little bit more on the next slide. Now for registrations, we invite you to visit our website, 1-800-234-RIDE.com, or just simply give us a call at 1-800-234-RIDE, and one of our commuter support team members will be happy to assist you. Now, on the next slide here, I wanna talk a little bit about the Guaranteed Ride Home Program, <clears throat> so-called the GRH Program. This is an excellent benefit that we offer not only for those commuters who want to carpool or vanpool, uh, but also for those commuters who choose to ride transit, um, walk or even bike to work. 
So in terms of our um, uh, transit system, South Florida has several express buses traveling on major highways, such as the 95 Express, we have the 75 Express, the 595 Express, and the 826 Express buses. These express buses offer comfortable rides over relatively long distances to major employment um, centers in Miami-Dade County. With very few stops along the way as a fraction, at a fraction of the cost of the driving a car. So you also have other mass transit uh, options to choose from, such as Tri-Rail, Palm Tran, Metro Rail, Metro Mover, as you saw on our video earlier at the beginning of the webinar. Um, so if you use any of these commute options at least three days a week, uh, South Florida Community Services will provide you with a set of six free rides home per year. So we have partnered up with major private uh, transportation services such as Uber, Lyft, and a taxi cab company to accommodate your needs in case of an emergency or on schedule over time. So I want to go over a little bit of what these emergency situations are. So, for example, the illness of a commuter or a, a member of his or her immediate family. So let's say you are the commuter who got to work by either carpooling, van pooling, or using transit. Um, and you're not feeling well, you need to go home, or you need to attend to someone that's not feeling well at home. Well, all you need to do is just give us a call. South Florida Commuter Services will come to your work, to your, your place of employment, will pick you up and give you a free ride home. Uh, another emergency situation is unscheduled overtime or extended work hours. So let's say you come to work with regular working hours and uh, you may have to stay a little bit later um, to finish up that project or you may have to cover one of your coworkers' shift. In any case, any incident that, uh, to that um, um, sort of uh, situation, um, no need to worry how you're going to make it back home. You contact South Florida Commuter Services, will come to your uh, work and will pick you up and um, give you a free ride home. Uh, another emergency situation is, let's say the carpooler or the van pooler drivers is uh, un unavailable to make the scheduled trip as usual. So in this case, again, we know, we understand that you need to get back to work. So what we do is we are available to you at any time during the day and at night time, just give us a call. South Florida Community Services will uh, provide you a free ride home. Uh, for those who use transit, we understand that sometimes regular transit services may be unavailable or inaccessible. Again, we are available. Anytime you need to get home, just give us a call and we'll provide you with that free ride home. So how do we request a guaranteed ride home? Uh, you must simply just call, all you have to do is just simply call the customer support uh, team and um, the process usually takes about three minutes. We verify your pickup location, your drop off location, we redeem one of the vouchers, one of those six vouchers that you have in your account, and we put in the request on your behalf. These are again six free rides per year available to you and all residents who live in the following counties. We have Monroe County, Miami-Dade, Broward, Palm Beach, Martin, St. Lucie, or Indian River County. So yes, it, uh, um, South Florida Commuter Services is covering all of our registered commuters from pretty much south of Key West to uh, a little bit north of St. Um, St. Lucie. Uh, once again, South Florida uh, Van Pool and South Florida Commuter Services are working together in this great effort to reduce traffic in South Florida particularly in Miami-Dade County. As we are gradually opening back our cities, which is great news, the number of vehicles on our major uh, roads will drastically increase. So, and if we already know, this is the, the summer coming up, we have snowbirds, we have the tourists coming to our cities. Therefore, our goal is to prepare you and to inform you um, of the excellent programs and benefits that we have available to you. So remember, by using another mode of transportation, rather than driving alone, you are reducing traffic and parking congestion, as well as reducing the auto emissions and improving the quality of life uh, in our community. So please, if you feel that this is not something that may work for you, uh, just share the information. Share this information with your family members, friends, neighbors, coworkers, even your employer, you know, HR department, just let them know of the 
the programs that we have in place. And again, the more people that are aware of these fantastic commuter benefits, the more our community will benefit from it. So for registration, just please um, give us a call at the 800 number that we have here, 1-800-234-7433. We'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have and obviously uh, register you as well. So thank you so much for taking the time to join us uh, um, in the webinar this morning. Now I'm going to pass it over to Jonathan. Awesome. Thank you so much for the presentation, Erica. Um, so before we move on, I would like to present a quick poll while I read through these questions. Just give it a couple more minutes for everyone to answer. All right, I'll go ahead and close the poll. So as you all can see, um, half of the audience drives alone and a little bit less than half takes transit to work. So that's, that's a pretty decent mix, to be honest. Um, throughout South Florida, most people record themselves as driving alone to work. So we will be moving on to the next presenter. Her name is Veronica Vidal with South Florida Commuter Services, and she will be speaking a little bit on our parking ride situation in South Florida. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much, Jonathan, and thank you, Erica. I'm sorry, John, I can't see the PowerPoint at the moment. Um, all right, perfect. Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Veronica Vidal. I am with South Florida Commuter Services. This morning, I wanted to speak to you all about park and ride lots. Um, so parking in South Florida, like Erica and Natasha were uh, mentioning earlier, it could be very challenging. It could be very frustrating, especially with um, companies slowly going back to the office. And as a resident of downtown, I see all the construction that's happening, um, of course, the traffic, but downtown Brickell and the beach, those are the hot spots in Miami where we struggle with parking. I don't know about you all. Um, so I wanted to introduce you all park and ride lots. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware what they are, where they're located. So I just wanted to walk through that this morning. So what is a park and ride lot? So these lots are designated um, parking lots that are either owned by FDOT, Florida Department of Transportation, or by the county. These lots have been designated um, for you all to either park your van pools, like Natasha had mentioned, and I know one of the questions earlier was, where can I park my van pool overnight? These lots are perfect for you to leave it there. It is a safe lot versus, you know, either leaving it in your home if you don't have the space for it, or if you don't want to just leave it in a Walmart or Publix parking lot. Um, this is another great place to meet each other if you're if you want to carpool with one on another. Or a lot of these lots um, actually are um, near a transit um, a tra transit stop. So if you want to go ahead and take that express bus, whether it's the 836, 95, or any of the other express buses, you are able to go ahead and park your car there in the morning or whatever time it is at that you are taking this bus, hop onto the bus and you don't have to worry about, is my vehicle okay? Where am I gonna park it? How am I gonna get to the bus stop? Um, there's also um, for tri-rail um, or for any of the MGT other transit options. So South Florida Commuter Services, um, we have actually been working on our website to make it much easier for you to locate a nearest park and ride lot that is convenient for you. So you can see, okay, if I do want to start a van pool, okay, this is going to be our meetup spot versus meeting whether or not it's at someone's home or again, if you don't feel comfortable with leaving your vehicle in a random parking lot. So um, next slide, please. I'm going to go ahead and show you, okay, 
how do I find a park and ride lot? So if you head over to our website, which is 1-800-234-RIDE.com, you are gonna see, as you can see all the information um, that we have on there, such as 95 express lanes, the toll exemption program that Erica spoke about. You can get some more information about guaranteed ride home, but if you scroll on the top, you will see your options. Now, when you click on your options, it's gonna bring a drop down menu. On there, you're gonna see park and ride. Underneath park and ride is another drop down menu. As you can see that we have park and ride lots all over Miami-Dade County, Monroe County, Martin County, pretty much all of South Florida, um, D4 and D6. So you will go ahead and click on, for example, North Miami-Dade. So when you click on that, it's gonna pop up with a menu, an, a, a map of North Miami-Dade. Um, on the menu, it shows, you know, some heat spots. So we see 95, you can kind of see the ocean, you can see downtown, see the plane that um, represents the airport. <clears throat> so on this specific one, we see 19 pins. Each pin um, represents a park and ride lot. It's kind of crazy because as somebody who lives in Miami-Dade, um, I didn't even know there was this many lots. So we wanted to, um, we want you to know that there's a lot, you know, whether it's closer to downtown, if you live closer to Homestead, there is a lot for you. So um, once you hover over the lot, as you can see on the right hand side, we also have the addresses. So if you want to go ahead and type in an address or if you even click on, um, for example, where it shows like Miami-Dade Gardens, Park and Ride, if you click on that, the top, like the title, it'll take you to a hyperlink directly to Google Maps. So you can map that out, see how far it is from work. You know, if maybe you want to bike or walk that last mile versus having to park in a garage, maybe because there's a cost associated, um, you can see if this works for you. Um, underneath each park and ride lot, there are little icons, which I will show you on the next slide. Um, so each of these icons represents something. So below each map is a legend. Um, so for example, you see um, a dollar sign maybe underneath a the lot, there, that means that there is a cost associated. Um, now there's not a cost associated with every lot, but it just pretty much gives you a heads up so that you know like ahead of time that you can plan accordingly. Or if you need to take the express bus, which lots have the express bus? Or even if you wanna charge your vehicle, I know for example, some Teslas, you know, versus you don't wanna take that extra time out of the day to charge your vehicle. If you wanna leave it all, all day at the park and ride lot, you know, on the slow charger, we have lots for everyone. So I think park and ride lots are another way for us to reduce the traffic here in Miami-Dade and to reduce the stress and frustration of driving around. If it's a parking garage, you have to pay for the parking garage. I don't know about you all, but sometimes parking can give me anxiety. I get nervous. I'm like, oh my gosh, am I going to be late? So this is just another option. So if you have any further questions, you can either... Um, on the next slide, you will see Erica's information, you will see my information and Jonathan's information as well. You can even head over to our website, which is 1-800-234-RIDE.com. You can go ahead and locate a park and ride lot that may work for you. Um, or if you have any further questions, you wanna go ahead and give us a call, you can call our office at 1-800-234-RIDE or 7433. Thank you so much for your time, and I hope that we were able to assist you this morning. And back to Jonathan. Awesome. Thank you so much for the presentation, Veronica. Um, I actually have a question for Erica. This is regarding the Guaranteed Ride Home program. Um, what about those who drive initially and then take the train to complete the rest of their commute? Are these people uh, eligible to the Guaranteed Ride Home program as well? Yes, absolutely. So if you choose to um, try any type of different, um, you know, commute options, if you're just driving halfway and then decide to take the train just to the finish up your, you know, the final, the final destination, you will qualify for the Guaranteed Ride Home program. Uh, just keep in mind that, you know, it's something that you want to do at least three days a week, whatever day it is that works for you. And yes, uh, you'll qualify for the program and 
will be able to assist you whenever you do need that um, emergency ride back home. Again, we'll pick you up at work at any time that you need us. Just give us a call and then we'll provide you with an Uber, a Lyft, or a taxi cab, whichever. You know, we we'll give you choices as well, whichever you feel comfortable with. Um, and then we'll just take you home and the, 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 the ride is completely free. Awesome. Thank you so much. And again, um, to wrap up today's webinar, all of our information is below and I will be sending out a follow-up email with a recording of the webinar as well as some extra FAQs and all of our websites so that you can access this information accordingly. So I wanted to thank you all for whoever decided to stay this long and inform you that participants who are signing up with South Florida Commuter Services as a result of today's webinar as an alternative transit user, biker, van pooler, car pooler, whatever the case may be, you will receive a free gift from SFCS. Also, these participants will be entered in a drawing to win a free commuter kit courtesy of SFCS, which will include a little bit more pizzazz in the gifts um, as opposed to the reg regular gifts. So again, thank you all. And um, I will be reaching out to you all soon with further information. Thank you.